I'm going on a date. With who, you may be asking? Guess we'll just have to wait and see. You guys are gonna get ready with me today. I, right now, look like an absolute trash can because I just got back from the gym, but we need to get all pretty and cute for our date tonight. So step one is shower. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna show you all of the products that I'm using in the shower. So first off is the Jonathan Van Ness shampoo. I actually just ran out of the conditioner, so I'm gonna use this overtone hair mask. And then I always exfoliate. You have to before shaving. That'll prevent any razor bumps or ingrown hairs. And then I use this body wash, and I actually keep my moisturizer in the shower so that I can moisturize immediately after showering and keep my skin hydrated. Then we brush our teeth and onto the hair. I know you're not supposed to brush your hair when it's wet, but if I don't brush my hair when it's wet, I will not be able to brush it when it's dry. So I just use a wide tooth comb and it's definitely better than using a hairbrush. I feel like I've really elevated my getting ready game. I use hair oil now. This is the Blue Mon Cloud Control. It's all natural deep conditioning hair oil and I'm gonna put it in my ends. And a little goes a long way, let me tell you. Okay, I know that this is horrible of me, but I never ever ever use heat protectant on my hair because honestly, I rarely straighten or curl my hair, but I know that the hair dryer is also bad for your hair so I am trying to get used to using heat protectant. This is the Organics Protecting and Silk Blowout. Now for the most insane blow dryer ever. This is the Dyson hair dryer. It's super expensive, but it takes my drying time from like an hour to five minutes. So to me, that's worth it. It's skincare time. I'm not gonna do too much skincare today because I've noticed that sometimes when I do my whole skincare routine, my makeup goes on not perfect. So I'm just gonna do a couple things because I don't wanna risk my makeup not looking good today. Okay, so first I'm gonna use the Skin Proud Detox Tonic. I like the mechanisms of this. Ooh. Okay, now I'm gonna do eye patches that I had kept in my beauty fridge. I am not joking when I say I've always had bags and they'll never go away. I will get the perfect amount of sleep for a month and I will still have dark circles under my eyes. This is embarrassing, but I do not know which way this is supposed to go on. I've seen people do this way and I've seen people do this way. I'm gonna do it like this, but I don't know if that's actually right. Is this a new look? So tonight, I am told that it's a dinner. It's at 7.30, so I wanna be ready by 6, 6.30 so that I can take any pictures or if I wanna make TikToks. Right now it's only 3.14, so we have lots of time, but when it comes to getting outfits and stuff, that takes me forever, so it's always good to be ready earlier for me. I actually have no idea what we're doing tonight. This is a surprise. I'm told that I might not like it at first, but then I'll like it. While I wait these 10, 15 minutes, I'm gonna glue on my two press-ons that fell off. I feel like I'm always missing a nail. Always, every video. I don't have a nail. I have press-on issues, apparently. <gasps> Yay. Okay, eye patches are off. Did they do anything? I have no idea. Now I'm using La Roche Posay. I don't know if I said that right, but it's a moisturizer with SPF. Moving on to makeup, I'm using the Pore Professional Light Primer. Then I'm gonna go in with my Shape Tape Tarte Concealer and my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I look a little bit scary right now. I forgot to film this, but I put on all of my foundation and everything, and then I'm baking right now with the Huda Beauty Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Pound Cake. Okay, I'm just gonna brush all of that out. Boom town. My eyes are terrible and I cannot see the mirror that far away, so I always have to go in and hold a mirror this close <laughs> so I can actually see what my skin looks like. Pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop bronzer. I'm gonna use Ofra highlighter and then this ColourPop blush. Bad news, I just did my bronzer and my eye just randomly started watering and it's going to mess up my makeup here, so I need to take a break until this stops, oh my god. Okay guys, I'm back. I changed, I ate some seaweed, I ate a protein bar, I let my eyes stop watering, and now we're gonna finish off with the blush and the highlight before we move to my eyes. I always put on a lot of blush at first because I feel like by the end of the day, it's just gone. The highlight already hit it a good amount. Voila. All right, so since I have no idea what I'm gonna wear tonight, I don't wanna do colored eyeshadow. I'm just gonna stick to like brown, silver kind of look. 
and I'm gonna use my go-to Sigma ambiance. Recently, I've been doing this brown and this sparkle a lot. I can't stop thinking about what I'm gonna wear tonight. I'm told that jeans may not be nice enough and to wear the next step up from jeans. First off, me and pants just don't get along. I have like a few pairs of pants that I wear all the time because I can never find the perfect fit. So if I can't wear my jeans, I would say the next step up would be my one and only pair of leather pants. <laughs> when putting on sparkly eyeshadow, I always use my finger because otherwise I just feel like it doesn't show up, like it doesn't stick to the brush well enough. And I've tried all the tricks of spraying your brush with setting spray and whatever, but it just does not work as well as my finger. Okay, before I go and do my lashes, I'm going to brush and fill in my brows. I say this every single time I do my brows, they are not twins, they are sisters. <laughs> Lash time. Okay, don't mess it up. I use tweezers to help place them perfectly, even though sometimes they're not perfect, but oh my god. <gasps> I kind of popped off. I'm not sure what lashes I should be wearing for tonight. I didn't know if I should do natural or big. These ones are kind of like in the middle, but I think I have small eyes, so every lash just looks ginormous on my eyes. <laughs> Lash number two. Don't mess up. All you gotta do is put it on perfectly. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Um, Lashes are done. Now I'm gonna do my waterline. I always have to choose between doing white or black. I think I'm gonna do black today though because it's giving mysterious. Now I'm gonna do mascara to make my real lashes stick to my falsies and I'm also gonna do a little bit on the bottom. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. Just kidding! If you know, you know. I'm just using like, what is this? Lancome. Lancome? That one. Okay, last part of the makeup routine is my lipstick. I'm gonna do kind of a slightly natural color. I'm using the Laura Mercier Hazelnut Tea Pencil. All right, now I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Sticks and this is shade Parker. So sometimes when I do a gloss after, I think that it makes my lipstick come off faster. So instead I'm gonna try to do a matte finish and I'm using this little mini bottle. It's Meet Matte Hues and this is the shade I have no idea. Oh, it's the shade Fearless. Makeup is done. It is time to pick out an outfit. Let's go try to find something. Okay, welcome to my closet. I'm standing in here. I'm trying to picture an outfit for tonight, and I just really have no idea. Last time I went on a date, I wore my black leather pants and my black leather jacket and then a black top. This time, I'm told to wear my leather pants again. What jacket matches that other than my leather jacket? So maybe I do the same outfit, but just a different top underneath. I'm an outfit repeater sometimes, okay? Whatever. Or I can do my black jean jacket, which might match the leather pants, but I'm not totally sure. I'm gonna have to try these on. What do I wear? When in doubt, this is my go-to top. I think this is gonna have to be the winner. Let me change. Okay, so here's the outfit with the black jean jacket. It doesn't match as well as the leather jean jacket would, but since he said this place isn't overly fancy, I feel like this makes my outfit slightly more casual. The leather jacket will make it look like I am very, very fancy. So I might just have to be slightly unmatched, but that is totally okay. Who cares, right? So I was gonna show you guys my simple hair curling trick, but I actually like the way that my hair is falling today, so why put more heat on it if I don't have to? All right, guys, I've got my jewelry on. I am now date ready time to find out what I'm even doing tonight I just got to the restaurant with my date hello surprise. I'm the date <laughs> surprise bet you didn't see that one coming <laughs> I've never heard of this but we are eating in the dark blackout so I'm so glad you got ready because I'm not gonna be able to see it at all we're oh. gonna be in the pitch black oh my god <laughs> that is so annoying <laughs> All right, guys, the date has happened. I got a rose. That was the only good part what? of the date. <laughs> Honestly, that was actually terrible. That's how the Sam Gobak way does it. <laughs> I am one, afraid of the dark. Two, I need to see my food when I'm eating it. And this wasn't just like kind of dark. This is pitch black. Cannot see your hand in front of your face. There's no light whatsoever. Glad we had a good time on our date night. Yeah, it's so much anxiety the entire night. I can't believe we got ready to sit in the dark. Are you for real? Thanks for taking me and pushing me out of my comfort zone, see, Sam. now next time you're in a basement alone in a hottest spot, you're gonna be having a great time, right? 
No. Give this video a big ol' like. Hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye!